Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Revolver X4 on this 2017 Ford Super Duty with a 6.5 foot bed. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is clean our bulkhead so that we can apply our bulkhead seal. So we're going to take some rubbing alcohol, we're going to put that on a paper towel, and then we're just going to wipe down our bulkhead. And you're going to want to wipe the whole thing down. Now your kit is going to come with two bulkhead seals. You're going to have a thicker one and a thinner one. The thinner one is used if you have a drop-in bed liner or a spray-in liner, but if you don't, we're going to go ahead and use the thicker uh, bulkhead seal. We're just going to unravel that. We're going to peel a little bit of our backing off on one side. We're going to stick it in place. Now you want to make sure you go all the way to the bed cap and you want to go as close in to the uh, bed of the truck as possible. We're going to place that, we're going to stick it, and then we're just going to go little by little all the way down our bulkhead. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Then once you get to the end, you can just trim off your excess and set that to the side. And then just go back down your bulkhead seal and just kind of push on it to make sure you have good adhesion all the way down. Now we're going to grab our passenger side rail. Now at the cab side, we're going to have a metal tab that's going to stick out towards the inside of the truck. And on the back of that tab, you're going to have a foam seal. Now, if you have a drop-in liner or a spray-in liner, you're going to want to remove that before you put our rail on. Now, at the tailgate, you're going to have a pressure lock. And then if we flip this over, we can see on the back there's some shims that it's going to rest against our bed cap. And then there's also going to be a seal here that's going to sit on top of our bed cap. So we're going to go ahead and put that on our bed cap, slide it all the way towards the cab, and then I'm going to use some squeeze clamps to hold that in place for right now. Now we're going to install our rail clamps. Now these are going to come pre-assembled with your kit. We're going to put the head of our carriage bolt towards the side of the truck. We're going to put it underneath our rail, making sure that our teeth are lined up. And then we're going to slide it as far towards the cab as we can go. And then we're going to use a 9 16 wrench to tighten that down. Now you're also going to have a clamp that has a quick release strap on it. We're going to put that one right beside our front clamp. Again, making sure our teeth are matching up in the grooves. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten this one down as well. And this clamp with the strap will help us keep our cover in place when we have it rolled all the way to the back. Now our next clamp is going to install right in about the middle of the rail. Should be right over your wheel well. Again, making sure that our teeth are lined up and then we can go ahead and tighten this one down with our 9 16 Now our last clamp is going to go as far towards the tailgate as possible right about there and then again we can go ahead and tighten this down now with our last clamp tight we can go ahead and remove our squeeze clamps and then you're going to repeat all those steps on the opposite side so next we're going to lift our cover up and we're going to set it on the back of our rails We're actually going to reverse roll it. So I'm going to roll it out. And as I'm rolling it that way, I'm going to roll it back up from the opposite direction.
just like that. Now on the underside of our cover, you can see that there's two channels here. We're going to take a provided bolt and we're going to put that down one channel and another one down the other channel. We're going to do that on both sides. Now we can roll our cover over, making sure our bolts fall into the channel in our rail. So now we're going to roll our cover back. And this is just to make sure that everything's moving properly. There's no kinks or binds. Okay, seems to work pretty good. Now we're going to go up, roll it back up, align it, and then we can tighten down our bolts. So to align the cover, we need to see the edge of the rail and the edge of the cover, and we're going to align those so that they are in a straight line. And we're going to do that on both sides. Now we're going to use a half inch to tighten down our two bolts that are underneath our rail. You don't want to go too tight, you want to go so it's just about snug, and then move to the next one. We're going to do that on both sides. Next we're going to roll our cover all the way to the back, and then we're going to check to see where our cover might come into contact with the glass in case we have a load back here that kind of shifts and rocks it forward. So once we have that, your kit's going to come with four of these foam um, seals and we're going to put two on one side and then two on the other side and that's just to keep our glass safe in case this thing decides to roll back. Same as we did with our bulkhead seal, we're going to use some rubbing alcohol. We're going to clean those two rail spots where we're going to place our stops. Let that dry a little bit, so we'll just peel back our backing. Stick a bumper on, push it down nice and tight. Along that same channel, we'll go ahead and put another one closer to the other side. We want these to be about evenly spaced apart. And then we'll do the same thing with our other two on the other channel that we cleaned off. Now we'll go ahead and roll the cover back and just test to make sure that if it does roll back too far, that our bump stops are engaging, which they are. So now we can roll our cover back, latch it down, and close our tailgate. Alright guys, that completes the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online. Thanks.